Good day, I'm Sheree Slaughter, a master's student at UJ. This paper was co-authored with my supervisors, Emerentia Petronella Mariska Demney and Amanda Breitenbach. The title is The Influence of the Fourth Industrial Revolution, a Multidiscipline Approach for Design Education. The table of contents consists of introduction, methodology, literature review, Neri Oxman, and findings design education in an African context. Introduction. This paper explores how design education can be informed through the technology fears of the fourth industrial revolution. Klaus Schwab notes that the word revolution conveys an abrupt and a radical change, like that which brought about the first, second and third and fourth industrial revolution. The 4IR is not only about technology, its fundamental difference is that these spheres combine. The physical, digital, and biological spheres overlap. The physical sphere refers to the technology that is tangible. The digital sphere is the internet of things that bonds the physical and digital. The biological sphere refers to biological exploration. Schwab indicates a number of designers and architects have combined the physical, digital, and biological spheres. By using computational design, additive manufacturing, material engineering, and synthetic biology, which are technology megatrends. Neri Oxman, who's, who uses a method called the Krebs cycle of creativity, which integrates four domains, science, design, art, engineering, where disciplines vary to create innovation, which advocates a multidiscipline approach. This is in line with the 4IR, fundamental framework. The collaboration of work and combining multi, multiple disciplines is not new to the design education. This form of collaboration is usually a multidisciplinarity where a set of disciplines come together to solve a common problem. Once the problem is resolved, the disciplines continue as before. The 4IR brings forth a new form of collaboration, which design education could extrapolate as an approach for a new curricular model. The 4IR brings forth a kind of multidiscipline domain where disciplines come together to solve a problem, but to create innovation by blurring the lines of the physical, digital, and biological fears, and the disciplines continue to work together. Therefore, this paper explores how design education can be informed through the technology fears of the 4IR, which stimulates a collaboration amongst disciplines and formulates a continuous multidiscipline working approach. This concept of multidiscipline approach is confirmed through Nuri Oxman and her approach in a multidiscipline working environment. Methodology. The research methodology utilized for this paper comprises of an integrative literature review. Taraka explains that using an integrative literature review may lead to initial or preliminary conceptualization of the topic, from which one could extrapolate a new model or framework. Literature review, the fourth industrial revolution. Schwab recognizes that a number of academics and professionals consider the 4IR to be part of the third industrial revolution. However, three reasons reinforce his view that a fourth and evident revolution is in motion. These three underpinning reasons are velocity, breadth and depth and systems impact. Schwab explains that the velocity of the 4IR is developing at a rapid rate rather than a linear speed, distinguishing it from the previous industrial revolutions. Complex interwoven world we live in, new technology keeps creating further advancements. The breadth and depth of the 4IR is an ex expansion from the digital revolution or the third industrial revolution. It merges several technologies, forming a unique paradigm shift in the individualism, our society, the way businesses run and how economies will function. The system's impact of the 4IR is the transformation of whole systems which influences individuals, societies, industries, companies, and countries as a whole. The velocity, breadth, and depth, and systems impact is an underpinning framework that supports the notion that the 4IR is a distinct and currently underway. The 4IR characterizes the augmentation 
amalgamation of the physical, digital, and biological fears, which are the technology drivers of this paradigm shift. These technology drivers set the 4IR apart from the previous revolutions. Schwab identifies the technology megatrends grounded under the technology drivers as displayed here. These fears overlap because the technology megatrends bring forth another type of collaboration. Disciplines that are not generally relatable work together and continue to work together. And they don't blur into each other's domains, but share a common body of knowledge. Collaboration in a multidiscipline approach. Andrea's talk offers insight into the differences amongst the three identified multiple discipline approaches. Multidisciplinarity portrays the loosest coupling of disciplines that come together to lose to solve a common problem, reside independently in their own domain, and don't pursue a shared body of knowledge. Interdisciplinary generates a closer linkage, overlapping discipline knowledge. The focus remains to solve the common problem, but creates a long lasting bridge, which supports the new body of knowledge. Transdisciplinarity offers the strongest coupling of disciplines. New disciplines are created through transcending, transgressing, and transforming the contributing disciplines and specialities. Knowledge is integrated within these contributing disciplines. The multidiscipline approach is advocated for this paper does not fall within these collaborative methods, but has similar aspects. Neri Oxman. Neri Oxman's research group focuses on nature-inspired design and designs by nature. Her research area material ecology researches the intersection of computational design, digital fabrication, material science, and synthetic biology, and applies that knowledge to design across disciplines. Oxman's KCC is an adaption of the Krebs cycle, the rich gold matrix, and John Meader's diagram. John Meader's diagram. Oxman reflects on John Meader's diagram based on the rich gold matrix. Meader's def Meters defines areas of creativity and assigns a specific creative approach and outcome to each quadrant. Science for exploration, engineering for invention, design for com communication, and art for expression. Rich gold matrix. The rich gold matrix has distinctive boundaries, science, engineering, design, and art. This diagram shows the distinct modes of human creativity that resides in defined boundaries. Oxman argues that if confining knowledge to only one of the four domains will be, you will be a citizen in one and a tourist in another. She asks, how will we become constant travelers within border-free intellectual Pangea? Krebs cycle of creativity. Oxman uses a biochemistry knowledge focusing on the Krebs cycle to offer an alternative approach to ways of being knowledge generation, investigation, and problem solving. The Krebs cycle reflects a chemical process in which energy is harnessed for cellular respiration in a molecular unit of currency for energy transfer. Oxman proposes that the KCC is a map that illustrates the perpetuation of creative energy. The KCC positions the four creative approaches within a circle. However, Oxman suggests that as we travel between and amongst these quadrants, we spend currency in the form of intellectual energy, offering an elasticity in exploration not made possible by the rich gold matrix. Discipline residing knowledge in one domain can become the catalyst for discovery in another, which can only be made possible through the multidiscipline approach. Oxman argues that knowledge is not confined to disciplinary boundaries, but is entirely entangled. Agua Hoja project. The skin, and, the skin and shell of Agua Hoja is made of the biopolymer found in nature in shrimp shells, shington, and fallen leaves, cellulose. It was robotically fabricated through a 3D printing process and shaped by water through computational design. The different megatrends 3D printing, material science, and computer-aided design are blurred using the amalgamation of the fears in this project. 
A brief look at the various team members show, shows the contribution from individuals from science, engineering, art, and design domains. By being part of the Aguahoja project, they are creating a multidiscipline environment. Findings, design education in an African context. While the design discipline finds its place within the 4IR, the design education sector challenges is to produce graduates with creative ideas and skills relevant to this emerging complex world. The 2020 World Economic Forum Future of Jobs report takes into consideration the impact of the two twin events, being the arrival of the 4IR and the sudden impact of COVID-19 recession across the world. The following are the relevant to the design discipline from the, from the diagrams. Analytical, analytical thinking and innovation, critical thinking and analysis, complex problem solving, creativity, originality, and reasoning, problem solving and ideas. The top three essential emerging skills identified for education sector globally are creativity, originality, initiative, active learning and learning strategies, and technology design and program and programming. The emerging high, the emerging identified in this report show that the inherent strength of the design curriculum in preparing graduates with the full IR context. The design curricula already focuses in its core functions and propose statements on the ability to resolve problems through creative and innovative solutions and to apply critical thinking in the execution of design projects. The responsibility of design educator, ed, educators is to incorporate these skills within the emerging context of the 4IR. Actively embracing the 4IR in education system. However, Rodney Gumidi reports that diversity, flexibility and creativity do not reflect in South Africa's economy, job market, education system or so, social organizations due to its political past. This identifies the gap in the education sector approach in the 4IR and an opportunity for the education sector. Current literature suggests that by actively embracing the 4IR, the education system is well positioned to cultivate innovation and talent. The impact of the COVID-19 and lockdown had a sudden impact on design teaching and learning strategies. The incorporation of technology facilitated the presentation of online classes and distant learning. Design education should actively embrace a wider and full spectrum of the 4IR requirements to prepare graduates for a job environment that requires flexibility, creativity, and innovation. John Butler Adam notes that the future jobs have not yet been envisioned with ever developing technology and highly skilled professionals will grow into their positions or be molded for the needed jobs through the developing technology they work alongside. Therefore, students would need to learn how to adapt and be flexible as their original professional may develop as the technology they use develops. Include opportunities for multidiscipline collaboration. The prep cycle of creativity and the multidiscipline approach in the work of Nuri Oxman provides insight into a collaboration of a design approach that stretches beyond the design discipline boundaries. Design education can extrapolate valuable lessons from the work performed by Nuri Oxman, providing a deeper understanding and richer application of the 4IR, influences in the design education curriculum and in the student's execution of, a, of the design process. The integration of a multidiscipline process in design education will require of design educators to include collaborative projects to bring together a wide group of participants, which are engineers, scientists, designers, and artists to investigate and explore problems with the opportunity to generate knowledge. The aim is not to focus on a problem space, but rather a solution space where design students are curious and investigative. Students will become entangled with complex problems and will explore solutions beyond disciplinary boundaries. Conclusion. 
The study argues that design education sector naturally aligns itself to the high demand emerging skills associated with the rapid changing for IR. Emerging skills that focus on creativity, innovation and complex thinking is already embedded in the design education curriculum. The design education sector should understand how to cultivate these high demand skills. Actively embrace participation in the 4IR technology and consider the introduction of alternative teaching and learning strategies to prepare students for the complex 4IR work environment. Design education is well positioned to address this gap through engaging with the alternative teaching and learning strategies, such as the multidiscipline approach. The sector can enable students to travel, explore, test, investigate design within a world that is associated with the complexity, rapid change, and continuous introduction of new technologies. Thank you. Here are some of the references used for this paper. And if you have any questions, please ask.